A sad day uh, in my computer collection today. Well, actually this happened yesterday, uh, pretty late yesterday. Uh, this, if you remember from my video, was the case to my Socket 4 motherboard. Uh, 66 megahertz Pentium, the original uh, Pentium uh, of the two Pentium 60 and 66 megahertz. Very hard to come across uh, boards and those CPUs anymore. Uh, just really hard to come across them. Um, so I was I was doing some hard drive stuff and I was I opened the case and uh, I was gonna swap hard drives put it a different hard drive but you know I like to to power them up make sure everything's okay before I do any changes uh, sometimes so I hit the power button and all of a sudden there's a weird smell and a weird sound and some smoke so I turned it off right away and uh, let's see I don't know if the light here. We'll go over here to the light. Here's the motherboard. Uh, yeah. You can see right away something went wrong. Uh, right in there. I don't know if one of those caps blew. Uh, I'm not even sure what those are. Capacitors, caps, I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, sucks. So the board is dead. Um, I, I mean, I don't have much uh, hope for it, but I mean, looking on the back, there's nothing, uh, well, almost nothing. Hold on, it's gonna be hard to find it with this. Okay. There's that, you can see it's a little bit burnt, like right there. But the traces and everything look okay. I mean, the damage really does look limited to this little spot, if I can find it. Sorry, there we go. I mean, it really does look limited to that spot, so, I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush and gently clean the area. See if there's any like damage to the board itself. Uh, maybe it's just those caps. Maybe it's repairable. Uh, that would be really nice because like I said, these boards are getting really hard to come by. So we'll see. Um, hopefully the, the CPU is okay. I, I can't imagine something over here would have killed it, but you never know. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. Maybe there's a voltage spike or something. Um, so I'm hoping the CPU is okay. Um, I took out like the video card that was installed right here, and it works. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing everything else. I'm hoping I had a Pro Audio Spectrum 16 in there. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm guessing that card's okay. I don't really see how it might have affected them. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll clean it up and then we'll All right. see. Well, I did some cleaning on it. Uh, I used some rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush and a little soft paintbrush to try to clean some of that soot out. It still doesn't look good. You can definitely tell it was that middle one right there. It's, it's actually like split, melted in half. Uh, that's the one that blew or messed up or, you know, caught. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I posted some pictures on some forums. Um, you know, the consensus is mixed. It actually might be repairable. Um, I don't have the soldering skills. Uh, my soldering equipment and skills is extremely limited, so I wouldn't be above sending this to someone. I mean, this is like a socket 7 board or something, you know, or even like a, you know, a 46 uh, it's like a socket 3 board, I might just be like, screw it, but I don't know. Seeing as it's socket 4, uh, it would really be a shame if this thing was repairable and uh, I didn't try. So I, I might actually just try sending it to somebody. Maybe they can desolder that. So I, I don't know the full extent of the damage, though. Um, so I guess we'll see. But yes, it's a, it's a sad day for my uh, computer collection. Alright, well, I'll keep you guys updated if something happens, uh, if it gets fixed.